Hi, my name is Uchidi. Today I'm going to use this Mondolama acrylic paint to paint something. I didn't buy this paint, but it's actually left over from a Mondolama craft kit I used in the last video. I was surprised at how much was left over, so... For today's video, I wanted to challenge myself and use only these paints. Mainly because I know the color palette is seasonal and I have a feeling if I don't use it now, it will be dried out by next year. So far, I've only used it to paint on the wood pieces, and for a newbie, the paint seems pretty decent. So this time, I'll be using this 8x8 canvas to paint something in the spirit of Halloween. Or not really Halloween, but in the spirit of the Day of the Dead. So let's gather some water, a ton of brushes, and the only palette I have available to get started. Keep in mind, this is the first original painting with acrylic I'll be doing in forever. And being the scaredy cat I am, I decided to start with the background. Last time when I was painting with the wood cutouts, I pretty much only used the consistency of the paint. I didn't realize you could add water to thin it out. This definitely helped with spreading it out evenly for the background. I'm a true beginner at painting, but I think this color palette was actually pretty decent considering it's from a $5 craft kit. If you haven't seen the video, check out the link in my description. I wanted to do something that would match the main colors of these paints and thought something inspired by the Day of the Dead would be perfect. Of course, it's not like these colors will work for everything as is. The main hurdle I have to face with is creating a skin color paint, which ended up not being that bad since we have a nice orange and white. While these two colors by themselves were okay, I added a little blue to make it more interesting. I tried to paint around the lines as much as possible, but since the color was fairly transparent, I ended up just painting over the guidelines. Or maybe I'm just a little lazy. In addition to this being a first for an acrylic painting, it was also a great chance to use my favorite symmetrical ruler while drawing out my idea. I love the patterns and colors that are associated with the Day of the Dead holiday and thought the symmetry ruler would help make it work with my style and of course the colors I had. It's kind of a weird mix, but it works, I guess. After getting in the base skin, it was time to start coloring in the details. I started with orange for a lot of the flower details. I thought it would be a nice contrasting color with the background. Then I made a little darker skin color for the shadows of the skin to add a little depth to the painting. I think I used purple instead of blue this time. And surprisingly, I was able to make an okay brown for the hair. I wanted to paint the roses a darker purple to make them stand out from the background and to use for the darker makeup on the face. For the thinner lines on the makeup, I used the blue color from the kit and it didn't contrast that great in the end, but looks like I'm almost done. I was tempted to use Posca markers to do the line art, but since I had a lot of black left over, I wanted to challenge myself to try to outline with the paint. And let me just say, it took a lot longer than expected. But let's see the final piece. I'm happy with the results. The colors were vibrant and the paint didn't give me any particular difficulty outside of my inexperience of using it. Considering Mondolama acrylic paints are one of the cheap acrylic paints on the market available, and I even used leftover paint from a $5 craft kit for kids, I think the result was pretty decent. Just so you know, they have sets that are starting at $3 for 12 colors with the size that I have. If you're in need of paint that is affordable and easily accessible, I definitely recommend it. I don't think it will last forever, but it's more than good enough for practice and maybe for crafts. In my case, I can't tell the difference from the good one yet anyways, so I would use it until it's gone. That's it for today. Thank you for watching my video. If you liked the video and would like to see more like this, please like or leave a comment below. And if you really liked the video, please subscribe. See you next time.